Hello, my name is Samuel and today we're gonna look at how to install the software Abinit. So I went on to the, the Abinit website www.abinit.org and on this website you have a presentation of what is Abinit. So Abinit is a software that allows you to calculate to solve the Schrodinger equation within the density functional um, theory, theory framework using pseudo-potential um, and plane wave basis set or you can also use a uh, wavelet basis set. Um, Abinit is also capable of uh, other levels of theory like GW um, which is a many body uh, theory. So today we're going to look at how to install Abinit. So for that you go on to the download button and you can go onto Abinit's source package here and download Abinit. So you can either choose from get Abinit for all platform, you have Abinit for Windows um, and a static version for Linux. So I will take the Abinit for all platform, save as, I'll save it on my program directory. Yes. And then here it is, it's downloaded. I can enter it. Here it is. And here we have the source of Abinit. So I go into it. Yes. So I recommend to create a build directory. It's always a good practice. So mkdir build. I go onto the build directory. Okay. Um, before configuring and then installing Abinit, uh, there are a lot of package and this dependency that you may want to install. So Abinit may run, can run without them, but if you want um, a version of Abinit that is fast, um, you would prefer to have those external libraries. So for that, you can go onto the forum and I advise you to register if you have not registered yet. Um, and you can go onto the platform specific question here. And our administrator has uh, set a list of recipe. Here it's for um, Intel Core i7, uh, 64 bits for Abinit 6.8. Um, now I'm trying to install the 7.8.1 version, so we will have to modify it slightly our installation. So first, he advise you to install those uh, packages, since Abinit is a program that is written in Fortran, you want to install gfortran and gcc, so I'll do that, sudo, and then you can install it. Um, I already installed it, so it's already done. Then you can install patch, then libnetcdf. So netcdf is um, a library um, to have a, a formatted output file, which is uh, useful. Um, you can also install FFTW3. So FFTW3s are libraries for um, fast Fourier transforms. So I, I will just show you the website. So it's a library for computing um, discrete Fourier transform in one or more dimension. So Abinit has in as Fourier transform that are built in it, but it's better to use optimized external libraries. Um, you can also install BLAS um, as well as LAPAC, uh, which are um, linear algebra um, libraries. Um, that will deal with uh, matrix vector multiplication and, and such kind of mathematical um, uh, multiplication and analysis. Um, you may also want to install OpenMPI. So this is useful for doing getting Abinit to run in parallel. So OpenMPI is message passing interface. Um, so once you have installed all of this, you can then do the step, which is download Abinit, I've already done it. And then, uh, once all of it is done, I've already installed it, so, so I won't do it, but once this is done, you you have two options to 
two choices to configure. Either you run it like this, configure, and then you have the help button. And as you can see, you have a lot of options. So for example, um, you have enable MPI. So since we want to use uh, Abinit in parallel, we want to enable MPI. So what we can do is configure and then put all the options we want. The problem is that there is a lot of options. So what I recommend is to create a .ac file. So my computer name is spawn, so I will no name it spons.ac. Okay, and then I will um, create this AC file. Um, so there is here a, a recommended uh, AC file, so I will take it and I will modify it to my need. So the first line tells, I mean, tells uh, it's the prefix, so it will tell where the binary of Abinit will be installed. As I want uh, a local uh, installation, I, I will just delete this first line. Then enable MPI, yes. We also want to enable MPI IO for um, input output. So this is important if you want to um, have MPI running. Uh, and then you have to set where the MPI um, is located. So in slash user, so when you, you install it, it will uh, by default set it there. Then you have the same for netcdf. So every time you have an include, um, you will have to put a, a, a dash i, then the w where it's located, and then include. I also must mention that, uh, as you can see, when you want to use a configure option, um, you can put you have to put um, double dash like like there, so with MPI stuff like this. But if if you use dot uh, ac then you replace all those dash by underscore. So you see I have underscore here and underscore here. Um, then we need to be sure that this is the, the right path for all libraries. So I will go into um, user, so cd user, yes. And then I will look into the include and I will look if I have yes if I have netcdf in the include and yes I have netcdf it's there netcdf include and you have the h so um, this line is correct then I want to look at the libraries so let's look at it so as you can see I don't have a lib64 so if you don't know where to find a netcdf then you can use the locate command and locate lib net cdf like this and you can see okay it's in user lib lib net cdf so i will have to change the lib 64 by lib okay then the fftw3 um, the same i will look if it's in user i will look with ll it's better um, user include, do I have FFTW3? Yes, I have. So this is correct. Then lib64, I don't have it. So still I have to locate also lib FFTW. Yes, let's locate it. And yes, it is located in user lib and then x8664 Linux GNU. So I will have to change this. Uh, you can see that I have the library that is there, so I will change it. Let's change it to this, yes. All right, so this is correct. Okay, this line is correct. Then, Atlas. Atlas is, um, okay, I can maybe show you Atlas. It's a package, Atlas. La pack, yes. Okay, so Atlas is automatically tuned linear algebra software. It's um, it's a project that um, interface with Blast and LAPAC. Um, so it's also very useful for linear algebra um, calculation. Um, the same as previously. I will check where. Um, 
atlas is located so let's check in user um, lib and then do I have lib atlas yes lib atlas as you can see is there so I can just okay remove the 64 and that's it then you can see you have DFT flavors. You have AtomPo, BigDFT, Lin, uh, LibXE, and 1E90. AtomPo is a software used to create PAW um, pseudo potential. BigDFT is the wavelet part of Abinit. Um, LibXE is an exchange and correlation library. Um, it's so it, it, it gives you more exchange and correlation functionals. Uh, and finally, 1E90 is um, a tool that allows for maximally localized uh, states. And you can use it f to do also um, plot of the band structure and interpolations. Um, as you can see, I, I've set those flavor, which means that I want to have those software installed with Abinit. Um, but I did not specify any path, which means that it will use the fallback that I that are given with Abinit. So it will use the version that is uh, shipped inside the the Abinit software. Uh, so if you want to have your own more recent version, for example, of LibXC, then you have to download LibXC, compile it, install it, and then uh, linked it uh, with a command that is similar to this one. So you can look at the command with um, the configure um, dash dash help. And finally, I have put enable GW double precision. So this is useful when you do GW calculation. Uh, and one thing more, since uh, I'm using the new version of Abinit, the 7.2, there is an extra option that I need to set is for FFTs. I need to put LFFTW3F. And this is because the FFTs in the code have been split in two parts. One is for linear and the other uh, is the other part. So once this is done, you can then configure with config file. And then you specify the name of your AC file, which in my case, it's pons.ac. That's it. So I run it. So you can see at the beginning that configure reading option from the .ac file. So it, it correctly took my ac file. Then everything uh, configure. Yes, and at the end it will give you uh, a summary. So like this. Yes. So you can see that it tells you that it used uh, GCC 4.7. You have basic debugging option, standard optimization, then it used MPI and MPI.io. And then you can see that you have fallbacks, for example, for LibXC, AtomPo, BigDFT, 1A, which means that it will use um, the library provided um, inside Abinit, so provided by Abinit when you downloaded it. But for example, you also have FFTW3, and here you can see it's user defined, which means that I have installed FFTW3 separately and then I am linking it. I'm linked it. And it's the same for, for Atlas. And once this is done, you can make, so make to, to, com to compile, but you can also make MG4. And that way it will compile using four threads, um, which can be useful if you have a multi-core on your uh, machine. So the, the, um, the compilation will take uh, between three and five minutes, so I will uh, pause the recording and I will uh, record back when it's done. Okay. Or if it, for example, I want not so I've compiled went again, so you can see everything went well. And once Abinit is compiled, what you should do is um, go into the test suite. So when you are in build, you go into tests. And then you can make, and that will give you some option for testing. Um, so you can do make tests for some quick tests, or you can also specify the test you want. So you have several tests per Abinit version. So let's say I want to test all tests for version 
2 of Habinet, all the tests that corresponds to the version 2 of Habinet, and it will launch them. And as you can see, the first test went well, the run finished cleanly, and you can do them, and then you will have uh, a report and a summary uh, at the end. Um, so that was it for the installation of Abinit. Once all the tests are done, you can run Abinit by going, so you are in the build system, you go to source, and then in 98 underscore main, you will have all the binary um, files. So for example, if I want to execute Abinit, I tap Abinit, and then you give um, the input file. So Abinit is working, you can also use uh, other binary files, you have cat3d and other useful um, binary files. Um, so I will leave you with that and see you next time.